So welcome to another video in the Ratchet series. Uh, in this video, I just want to go through something really quickly. Um, a couple of you have asked, actually asked about it. The question you have is, why won't your app scroll? So, you know, we can scroll up and down here with mouse wheel, anything, and it just won't scroll. And even if you put this on an actual device, it still doesn't scroll. The reason being is that everything in a Ratchet app is locked into place by default. It just cannot move. It's got no scrolling capability or anything, it's just all completely fixed. Now, the way you get around this is, uh, we can create like a container for this menu. So, for example, in this demo app, we just got like a menu here, which has just got a load of media tables. So we create a container for this, and allow that container to uh, scroll, while the header and the footer tab bar do not scroll. So the rest stays fixed, except for everything inside here. So if you head into the code, it's actually really easy. I don't know why I covered it in just a single video uh, on its own. So this is our navigation bar. And this is our tab bar. This is just some uh, test data and stuff I put in here. So all we need to do is take your card or whatever data you've got inside here and indent it in by one. And right here, we just got to put a div with a class of content. And that is literally it. Uh, I just got to end it off at the end as well, obviously. And then head back in here. And it can, in fact, now be scrolled. Um, so scrolling is properly working. The header and footer are sticking. And you'll notice now this is slightly too low. Now, if you remember back a couple of videos, we created the style.css to overcome that issue. But creating that content div um, actually fixes that issue on its own. So, and that will work with Android and iOS styling uh, by default. So if you remove the couple of lines from the style.css and bring it over here, you'll see now we've got a proper working thing. Although the issue is, it still catches on the bottom. So there's still something that's got to be done about that. So for this, what we can do is dot content, and we can just uh, assign some styles to the content div, which is where all the moving stuff goes, and put a margin dash bottom of, I think, 45 pixels for the iOS styling. Um, we could probably bring that up to 50, I think, and refresh it. And that looks about right now. But for Android styling, you'll also have to play around with it there as well. So yeah, that was just a really quick video about scrolling and Ratchet. A couple of you, you asked about it and I thought instead of just commenting uh, to all of you, I thought I'd make a video on it. And also it's actually really important. Uh, I should have covered, covered it before, but I never really did it. So yeah. So quick, that's a quick video. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.